Hi everyone, this is Abdul Basit. I'm technical consultant for cloud marketplace across Meta region with Ingram Micro Cloud. Today's session is for the means of support or the ways of support you can get from Ingram Micro. The first one or the major topic to cover is the self-service portal. In the self-service portal, you can log in into it and you can open up the ticket from it. You can track your ticket and then you can have the access to all the knowledge bases. So basically the knowledge base covers all the operations possible for a reseller or for an end customer. They are documented along with screenshots and some of the basic operations or some of the basic acts, actions, they have been recorded into the small videos, short videos, and then placed over here. So in order to get to the knowledge base, you need to go to the URL kb.cloud.im. And once you click on the sign in button over here, it will give you this pop-up. If you don't already have the account, you just need to click on sign up and it will let you have your own account. So you will give your full name, your email address, and you will check for the bot and sign up and then you will get a confirmation email into your email address. So we'll quickly sign in and with one of the Tami accounts. So once you are signed in into the self-service portal, you can see that you have all the categories, the promoted articles, or like the recent updated articles. And if you check over here, there's a section for new resellers, the resellers who have recently got the account on Marketplace, all the basic operations like how to use the how to start using the cloud marketplace what are the frequently asked questions about support then for the referral program and then under cloud marketplace the new unified control panel billing section the unified uh, unified control panel starter guide shopping cart features billing questions and so on the list goes on if you want to look for the product you can just go to any product category and find your product or else the easy way is to search for your product. Let's say if you want to search for uh, how to use Azure usage calculator or basically how to use Azure or monitor Azure usage, then you can just search for it and it will give you all the articles relevant to this section. And let's say if you will, we'll click over here. Then I am in the Azure section of the knowledge base. Or if you want to be like more specific about this, only about the usage section, then you will click over here. And it will tell you how you can get the usage and everything. Every single step is screenshot and documented for this particular article and the same goes for all other articles. The other ways or other mediums to get support is via email, via live chat, or via phone. The details for your particular countries, they can be found over here. We don't have one unified number. There is one unified number that is but the US number, but because our marketplace, the MB marketplace is for multiple countries in the meta region. So we have developed up a separate landing page where you can find how to get the sales support or if you want how to take the technical support, then it again has all the sections, telephone support via phone. So all these numbers were applicable. The toll fee number is there. 
of uh, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Bahrain, Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, where we are not able to get the toll-free numbers like Qatar, Kuwait, Lebanon, Morocco, and Pakistan. Then we have a US dial-in number. Then the next way to get is to get support is through the email address. Our support is, is 24 7 365. So even if it's public holidays or whatever happens, our support is online and available for you to support. Then is the live chat as I have shown you. So to follow up a case, either you can drop an email with the case number to this email address, or if you have opened up the case through here, you can click on your name, then click on my activities. So all your cases will come over here. The ticket subject number, then the ticket ID, when it was created and what is the status, or you can filter them according to that. So let's say if this is an open ticket, so you will see all the history for this ticket over here, all the responses from everyone. So it can be tracked. Or let's say if we go back, It would also tell you that if there is a ticket on which the support is waiting for you to reply or the solid tickets. Moreover, if you are not, if you haven't opened directly the ticket, but uh, you have requested to be CC'd on those tickets. And you can find them also over here. Over here, you will find your own request, or if, like, let's say, a colleague of yours has opened up a ticket, but you have, uh, but that colleague has requested for you to be CC'd in that uh, ticket, so that you can keep a track of what's happening, what's the progress. Then you can see over here. So we have come up with this portal for you to have much more ease of getting the support. In order to submit a ticket, we will click over here. And then our knowledge base is smart enough to give you the generic requests or the topics, like checking provisioning conditions with the basically with the knowledge base articles. And moreover, you can again find more solutions, recommended help topics. So let's say if you are having a provisioning failed issue. Or you can select any any topic, basically, let's say customer service request, then you, you will type the subject, description, vendor product, country, or Let's say if an order is in long running operation, you will type your reseller ID that starts with double one, double zero, and then like one, two, three, four, whatever is your ID, then your company name, your end customer account ID of the marketplace and their account number, the subject, and the detailed description of the issue, subscription ID and name, order number, contact person who you want to be contacted, their number, their email address, your country, and if there are screenshots available, click submit, and our support team will soon contact you regarding your case or whoever the person's contact details you have entered, that person will be contacted.